Alright, so today we are going to install SQL 2016 Express Edition. So when you do a Bing or a Google, you end up with a bunch of links, okay? And when you click on the second link, alright, so you will end up here. So this is, you know, they have changed this time, alright, and they are giving you a, a link to download this okay so in the end you will come here okay and this is the link I'm gonna give you uh, you know in my video description so don't worry about it so when you come here uh, you will see the details what are you downloading and some description so it's good next is you click on download the moment you click on download it is gonna save an exe all right so uh, this is uh, you know uh, one second let me shrink it a bit so you'll get an idea what I am talking about so you need to save this thing alright so in my case I've already done that so it's right here okay I'm sorry so it's here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this thing as an administrator okay I'm gonna say yes and now the magic will start now it is gonna start the setup it is gonna ask me questions alright so it is getting started alright so now over here it is telling me like what are the options I want to go with okay now here you have a choice either you can go with the basic uh, where it does the thing for you behind the scene or, or you can go with the custom where it is gonna show you and it is gonna ask you like what are the things you want to do so it is telling you like how much space it requires and what it's gonna do so now it's gonna you know install this thing for me so basically this is uh, getting the files uh, you know downloading the files online uh, and you can see it is gonna take some time because the setup is around like 1 GB right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video once the setup gets complete I'll be back online alright okay it's been 20 minutes and we are almost there we are about to finish alright so I'm gonna come back again okay alright so you can see now the download file has been completed and now it's extracting you know the file setup internally okay so that has been done and now next is gonna launch a wizard alright so let's wait for that so as you can see now the download has been completed it has auto extracted files and it has now launched a wizard now we begin with the new server standalone installation alright so I've clicked on it and now it's gonna start so now you can see it prompts us the accept license terms so we go with ahead with that next is uh, it's gonna do some few checks and we have everything in place so it's gonna go next we are not gonna update the Microsoft update and we still go next and next it is gonna ask us like uh, what are the components we want to install so again this is gonna take a while so we wait okay so these are the things happen and we can ignore the warning because this is my normal machine this is not a production so we go next and now it's giving us uh, the list of features which uh, we want to install so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all as usual and you can go on to you know each and every feature and it will tell you like uh, what exactly it's installing and what it's doing for you alright so and it's also telling you like where it's installing you know the SQL on your machine so we go next <coughs> next it's gonna ask you like what is the instance you would like to go with so at the bottom you can see these are my installed instances which I have for SQL Server 2008 but here I would like to install SQL 2016 my own instance so I go next and now it's gonna go for few more configuration it's gonna ask me
now I'm gonna choose a default here next I'm not gonna change any of this over here because this is not production we are just installing on my local machine if it's a production then it uh, the account name must be this service account as per the recommendation so I'm gonna hit next for now next is it's gonna ask me like uh, what kind of authentication you wanna go with uh, Windows or Mix I would say at present we can go with Windows later on if you want to make it a mix it is quite possible you can make those changes so let's go next and now it is also asking me that it's gonna install a reporting service so I'm saying yes okay and we are accepting and now we go next and I believe now it should start installation so now this is again you know this is 2016 so it is gonna take a time so I'm gonna pause this video once this case com gets completed I'll get back to you alright alright so now the installation has been completed it's almost there so we're gonna check that next